Hi guys, welcome to Joseph IT, your technology entertainer. Today I'll be showing you how to use the latest Telecopy 3.26 properly in your system. So be with Joseph IT. In my last video, I have shown you how to download the latest Telecopy, but today I'm gonna show you how to use it properly. So I'm opening Telecopy first. This is the latest look of Telecopy 3.26. There are some new functions which you may not be aware. First of all, you can add new lists from there. It is a new function. It is a new facility from Telecopy. You can add as many as you wish. Okay, you can also close it. At the time of copying one file, if you wish to keep another file in new list, you can do it by dragging the file in there. Okay, and second of all, you can check the histories of your copying files from different memories okay third of all from the settings you can go to preference and there are some options like you can confirm your drag and drop option by dragging and dropping you can copy the files okay then you can also choose whether it should be used as default copy or not by choosing the box and then you can move to check free space Telecopy will automatically check your free space and will inform you whether it should be copied fully or not and then always on top this checkbox allows you to keep Telecopy always on top of all the screen all the windows if you uncheck it your Telecopy will not be on the top and then you can also check large progress bar the progress bar will be larger and then which I like a sound will be played after successfully copying your files okay and then if you go to the corner right corner click on on finish there are some simple things first of all after transfer completed the panel will be closed okay and after completing the whole copying system the app will be closed no problem but if you think the file is too large and you don't have time to wait for that for the copying to be added you can also choose shut down the whole system or sleep or happen after all you can also shut down your whole system by choosing shut down after the telecopy copies all the files in your system and this is the latest telecopy 3.26 with new interactive functions and I hope you enjoyed it and will benefit you more and lastly if you found this video useful then please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to this channel of joseph it see you in my next video tutorial until then goodbye